Hello, Toby Hodges from Yachting World, and I am on board the new Balance 482. Uh, it's just sailed here from South Africa. I'm going to jump on board while there's a quick space between a lot of people trying to get on here. Really excited to finally see this boat. I've seen been aboard briefly the 526 a few years ago, but yeah, this 482 is really nice, attractive size, and straight away you can see a very modern, fresh design uh, that Phil Berman and, and Anton du Toit, the designers, have, have brought here, full of good, well thought out ideas. Um, and one of the first ones you'll see here, as well as having the paddle boards on the roof and nice foam deck and lovely underfoot, is bright and light. And this central to the balance and imbalance concept, the VersaDeck helm. We'll come back to the deck in a minute, but you can see straight away what a great watch position, watch keeping position this is. See straight out through those big flat glass panels in the coach roof to sit and have a watch here that roof above you slides closed to keep the weather out so as i said i just done the delivery from from cape town just arrived a few days ago had some pretty bad weather but apparently crew saying to sit here stand your watch maintain good high average speeds these are very nice thing to do and we'll have a look at the winch positions in a second you'll see how that works out this door they said they would keep closed off you know and just have a bit of ventilation here and then you're into a a very comfortable interior living space big galley but you see where the galley still get thrown around a bit on a cat so being able to brace in here in a u-shaped galley works really well um this is uh Balance operate a, a pretty semi-custom approach built by Two Oceans in Cape Town. And um, yeah, so you can lay this out with how you'd want it to essentially, but what you will notice running through this boat is a lot of storage. A lot of storage space where you need it. Um, comes with 800 litre fuel tanks, 800 litre water tanks, big solar panels we see on the roof, water catches, that sort of thing. Um, and it's uh, yeah all the systems well labeled let's have a look through some now so dropping down into the starboard hull first thing you notice hmm, no aft cabin um, so this one has this massive walk-in shower area aft and this boat belongs to Phil Bourbon the founder of the yard the founder of the brand and he's going to use this boat himself for shows and really bringing the Balance brand to Europe probably. Not that he has to because they've got a very, very full order book by the look of it for the next three years. Anyway, there's just some of the systems here in the central part. You've got the water maker mounted under here. Very easy to access. Your AC electronics. And yeah, more storage space. These, these are all um, handmade foam cord, real wood veneer panels, lightweight. Um, these magnetic aluminium floor panels in there um, to access the bilges. But yeah, there is, there is stowage throughout this. I mean, I know it's uh, an owner's hole, but yeah, to have this much space for fewer living aboard would be fantastic. And again, the balance concept, they like to have a thwart ship's doubles, um, calculating that the average time spent is not really on passage when you're sleeping. 90% of the time is probably going to be at anchor where this, uh, having a large island berth that you can sit up in and read is uh, more desirable. Um, the payoff being Slightly when you are at sea, you might have more noise and, and um, waves slapping under the hull there. But you can see the head position, there's the mast base up above through that, that hatch. 
and obviously at sea you won't want to be opening that hatch but you can get ventilation through that one and the locker above it very nicely done it looks impressive on first viewing the, the quality of the fixtures fittings and finish uh, as i say more of a hand built approach to all of the furniture than we're used to seeing from i mean this is a yard that's um it's due to produce 27 25 or 27 boats next year that's pretty impressive growth they've got going on and then into a walk-in storage area for straight from this master cabin so you can you know easy place to store all your cushions and some toys uh for those are to, to make the bed in the half cockpit and the saloon area and deck cushions as well something you often might be fighting for birth space to be able to place it in a boat be able to store it when you're underway Nice big navigation desk area here to port. Yeah, this table here drops down, fills in, as does that. But again, um, customizable. And then the port hull on this side, again, has that athwart ships style berth up there. This one has a more conventional aft. Excuse me. Um, more conventional aft double here, so uh, if you do want to sleep on passage back in the aft part of the boat, nice option to have. And again, stowage everywhere. Very bright and light, that's the other tool th thing to mention. It's nice, tall standing headroom through these. Bright light, lots of natural light, lots of white panels. Storage, 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 more galley storage in here. Look for all your tins. Uh, and this one has the shared heads, separate sh heads and separate shower, which are shared by those two cabins. And here's the thwartships double forward. And the way they've done these cabins is to, if you think about normal um, deck and accommodation layer on a, on a cat this size, that would be essentially into a, a deck stowage area and the trampoline area on conventional cats. So they've carved out a bit more of that space forward. They take a bit of a weight hit, putting in that, the cabins forward here to create that space for these cabins. You can see how attractive it is. Um, as long as they say, you've got that option to have an aft berth as well, if you desire. This one sealed bulkhead there, leading to a big sail locker in the port forward hull. So this is uh, 11 tons essentially light ship, 14 tons loaded, you know, 800 litre tanks for water and fuel. Moving up from the cockpit, Access to the engine rooms here. You've got two 45 horsepower Yamaha's as standard. Got a steep step up, but then you're up onto a high side deck here. And you've got these big solar panel bank here, which is raised up, in theory being getting the ventilation under the panels themselves, it makes them more efficient and also allows the, the rainwater to run off into these rainwater catches here. So you can keep your tanks filled up underway. Dagger boards made in graphite epoxy, I believe, and they uh, raise yeah draft from 2.2 meters up to 1.1. Aluminium rig as standard, uh, and a self-tapping jib, and that uh, another feature the crew said is really handy on the passage is having that electric code zero furler integrated in the uh, bow sprit. I really like those pulpit seats as well. What a lovely place that would be to sit and watch the dolphins from. Nice flat coach roof. We've got the chain locker in here. 50 meters of chain and 50 meters of walk. 
and then rope tail stowage there from the running rigging. And there's access to the ventilation into the cabins as well. <coughs> and then all of your lines for managing when you're sailing are running back to these three winches here. See the amount of light that these windows bring to the interior. You see the spray hood here, which folds down here to cover this semi raised helm position. And then the um, main sheet, main sail is on these sheets here that run forward along the boom. And then you've got this, as I say, three winch set up. And look how neat the tailing locker is for these. Hide all your lines below there, but access them from that from that locker. And then this is with the, the wheel in the raised versa helm in the raised position here. So you can stand here. You've got great visibility, particularly when you start to step up on this on the step here, up above the flat coach roof. You can see all four corners of the boat, um, and then a big comfortable seat for sitting watch as well. So really good choice of where to stand watch and where to sail and enjoy the sailing from. Now, the slight problem is um, they're getting very popular. So I think they filled their um, build slots to 20, 20, late 2026. Our base price starts at 1.157 US dollars. Uh, equipped price at 1.45 million US. And it's the type of boat that you really do want to go sailing on. Time to go and see if we can have a try out. Won't be, won't be just yet, but having this in Europe for the rest of the summer, hopefully we'll get a trial to, chance to trial sail it soon. Yeah, yeah.